Good day. We engineering students of University Putra, Malaysia would like to present a study on implementing the zero waste concept by food waste composting using Insania Petida species. Do you want to generate some income from food waste? Then don't forget to watch our video till the end. Enjoy! Introduction Over 40% of municipal solid waste in Malaysia is characterized as food waste. Solid Waste Corporation of Malaysia declared that the biggest component of both household generated waste and commercial industry institution generated waste is food waste. This may lead to the carbon footprint of food waste as carbon dioxide generation. There are over 200 dumping sites in Malaysia and only 14 are sanitary landfill that implement proper treatment systems. Even then, most of the landfill do not comply with the Environmental Quality Act 1974. Besides, the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic from 2020 has increased the risk of severe food insecurity all around the world. As the solution for those problems, we develop a practical and more efficient food waste disposal method where the food waste undergoes vermicomposting to produce biocompost and produce fresh fruit for both self-consumption and income generation purposes. Our solution will deliver the impact of the study in terms of healthy environment, economic development and social welfare improvement. By conducting this research, it will help to create and promote a sustainable waste management practice in the future. Besides that, food waste composting aids the agriculture sector by promoting higher yields of crops. Moreover, this biocompost helps to improve soil fertility that is being used for reforestation. By cultivating this solution, able to provide a sustainable plant growth medium in growing plantations. Process Flow the process begins with food waste collection. Household kitchen waste which comprise a variety of vegetable scraps and fruit peels are collected in a bin. Please avoid meats, bones, oil fats and grease which will harm the worms. Pretreatment One of the fastest pretreatment methods is a thermal pretreatment. By thermal pretreatment, the moisture content of the food waste can be controlled. Some of the chemical pretreatment that are classified are alkali, acid and ionic liquid pretreatments. Thermal alchemical pretreatment is one of the commonly combined pretreatment practices where the food waste is soaked in sodium hydroxide solution before heated in an autoclave. Precomposting Precomposting is conducted for better thermal stabilization, initiation of microbial degradation, and softening the food waste. Besides, it will encourage the production of beneficial microbes that break down organic matter in food waste. Fermi-composting in this step, Ensenia fetida species, redworms, were added to begin the fermi composting process. Compared to traditional composting, fermi composting requires less space and time. Harvesting There are few different methods to harvest the biocompost, such as manual harvesting, bulk harvesting, and screening or sieving. Germination In this step, biocompost is used for germination of plants. This will provide an organic, chemical free, and fresh food supply. Income generation. This study helps to generate revenue primarily through the selling of organic fertilizers. It can also generate additional revenue from the selling of raw food products like veggies. Results Pretreatment. Red mums are found dead after 3 weeks of vermicomposting under chemical and thermochemical pretreatment. For thermal and no pretreatment samples, no red worms die during the vermicomposting period. Thus, thermal and no pretreatment are more recommended among all the pretreatment methods. This table shows all the samples used in this study. We remove the chemical and thermochemical pretreatment methods as both are not recommended. Moisture content 60% moisture condition is not suitable as redworms require high moisture condition for vermicomposting. Since 70 and 80% are the right humidity and damp environment, it is recommended for a better vermicomposting process. Based on the moisture content explanation before, we remove the 60% moisture condition as it is not recommended. Precomposting the temperature was stabilized and food waste was softened enough after two weeks. On the other hand, 
the one week pre-composted sample is still undergoing the thermal stabilization phase which is not suitable for ripples. So now let's remove the one week pre-composting samples. Physical properties. Black or darker brown is an average color of a high quality biocompost. Lighter color of biocompost is an effect of the pretreatment. Chemical properties. The chemical properties of biocompost included pH, electric conductivity, total volatile solids and nutrients. The values provided for pH, EC and TVS are recorded from the experiment. Nutrients. The nutrient contents given in this section are from the biocompost samples which are considered good or suitable for germination. High quality biocompost contain high in nutrient, phosphorus and potassium. Based on the physiochemical analysis, we remove samples with 80% moisture content as it shows low nutrient content compared to the rest of the biocompost samples. Plant growth. The use of biocompost resulted in almost the same germination as the chemical fertilizer. The height of the plant, number of leaves, size of the leaf, the crop growth rate was higher according to the high quality biocompost. Based on the figures, the addition of high quality biocompost to the soil boosts the growth of chili pepper plant. The plant looks healthier with a high number of leaves and recorded almost similar properties with the chemical fertilized plant. This figure shows the comparison of chemically fertilized, high quality biocompost and low quality biocompost plants. The growth of a high quality biocompost plant almost looks similar to the chemical fertilized plant. Referring to these figures, the high quality biocompost with thermal pretreatment method shows good growth for the ladies finger plant. The leaves look greener with no symptom of disease. Based on these pictures, low quality biocompost produces leaves with symptoms. Yellow spots are visible on the leaves. Some plants even wilt faster because low nutrient content in the biocompost. At last, four samples were left to identify the best recommended parameters to be followed to produce the high quality of biocompost. We can observe and recommend that the food waste to be thermal pretreated and followed by 3 weeks of pre-composting with 70% of moisture content as the best choice of parameters. Impact of study Impact to society Ensure food security and also create job opportunities. This research can operate as a small business which provides new jobs for the community. Impact on the environment Biocompost used as a soil amendment and protects against plant disease. Biocompost actually improves the structure of the soil by adding the important nutrients balancing pH and moisture. Impact on the economy Fermi-composting transform what literally would have been thrown into the trash into an incredibly valuable resource, one that will generate more food and revenue. Conclusion This study is essentially a zero-waste process in which the food waste is converted into biocompost by the Fermi composting process after enduring food waste pretreatment with other optimization. This process will achieve the waste to wealth concept by recycling food waste into valuable resources that generating wealth to ensure food security. The idea behind this project is rooted in a series of pondering possible potential solutions by three engineering students of University Putra, Malaysia with a solid aim in overcoming this current issue. As we come together and join hands with our advisor, we fix the pieces of this idea to create a positive tackable impact by resolving the respective problem through our design plan. Thank you.